Higgins, I really must interfere. Mrs. Pierce is quite right. If this girl's going to put herself in your hands for six months for an experiment in teaching, she must understand thoroughly what she's doing. <clears throat> Eliza, you are to stay here for the next six months, learning how to speak beautifully, like a lady in a forest shop. If you're good and do whatever you're told, you should sleep in a proper bedroom, have lots to eat, and money to buy chocolates and take rides in taxis. But if you are naughty and idle, you shall sleep in the back kitchen amongst the black beetles and be walloped by Mrs. Pierce with a broomstick. At the end of six months, you shall be taken to Buckingham Palace in a carriage, beautifully dressed. If the king finds out that you're not a lady, the police will take you to the Tower of London where your head will be cut off as a warning to other presumptuous flower girls. But if you are not found out, you shall have a present of uh, seven and six to start life with as a lady in a shop. If you refuse this offer, you will be the most ungrateful, wicked girl, and the angels will weep for you. Now, are you satisfied, Pickering? I don't understand what in the world you're talking about. Well, could I put it more plainly or fairly, Mrs. Pierce? Come with me, Eliza. That's right, Mrs. Pierce. Bundle her off to the bathroom. You're a great bully, you are. I won't stay here if I don't like it. I won't let nobody wallop me. Don't answer back, girl. Well, I don't know what I was letting myself in for. I wouldn't have come here. I've always been a good girl, I am, and I won't be put upon. In six months, in three, if she has a good ear and a quick tongue, I'll take her anywhere and I'll pass her off as anything. I'll make a queen of that barbarous wretch. 